publisher's binding from the early part of the 19th century. There are woodcut illustrations here printed on paper that have been uh, affixed to this cloth uh, spine book over cardboard covers. The paper spine label, the title label here, has been affixed by the publisher, separately printed, then uh, glued onto the spine, literally. Uh, the cover has the date of 1830, but around this time what we see uh, on books of, like this sometimes is that the date on the cover and the date on the title page are different. And this one is 1833 Boston, um, and here is that same woodcut repeated here. So what this means is this was printed, they printed up the, the, the covers for these and probably even the, got the bindings ready and then filled them with the contents as needed. And by the time they got to this uh, one, using this cover, it was 1833. The text is very heavily age-toned, like we see here, uniformly throughout. It's almost certainly due to the wood pulp paper that was used uh, at this time. Um, and this is what happens to wood pulp paper as opposed to paper, handmade paper from rags. Uh, and so it's a scarce book. It's beautifully preserved, actually, for a publisher's paper binding of this era. This is a lovely example. And it is available now online from me, Brian DeMambro.